welcome back everyone now before i actually begin on how you can create your own custom form i want to let you know that you can buy your own personalized hat just like this t-shirts mugs anything you want for example this one has a photo of my dog directly from my website using the link in the description without further ado let's get started now you already have a member page and now you just want to add a different sign up process or a different sign up form rather than the one that comes with Wix as a default. To do this, all you need to do is simply navigate to this icon over here where it says menus and pages. You're then going to click on sign up and login. You're going to click on member sign up form and here you'll be introduced to this. Now here you've got a few options such as who can be a member where you can set it up as everyone or people that you approve. If it's people that you approve, they will still go through the process of actually sending their information through and you as the admin will get a notification saying that someone has requested to be a member on your website. You can also choose which options to show first, the sign up form or the login form. And today I'll show you how you can create a custom sign up form as well as a login form. So the first thing we need to do is as we're on the sign up form, we need to click on this icon and click custom form. And now we'll ask you to add a custom form to your website in which we will click on add to site. It will take a second and as you can see now, we've got this form over here that we can completely control. You can see that it starts up with the normal sign up. It has first, last, email, password and sign up and then an error message. Now let's go ahead and actually make this a little bit more unique. To do this, let's first change the background. I'm going to click on change the background, image, and here we've got the option to select any image that we want. And let's say we can maybe select a photo of the city. And then for this one, we can actually start by also changing the design to make it a little bit faint and maybe the best way to do it is like this and that way they can still sort of see the city behind now that you've got this view look and feel what we can do is we can actually add this all the way to the top we can click on the form again and click on add new field doing so we will be, have access to add any other icon or any other form widget for example you can click on privacy policy and that will allow allow you to ask the user to agree to a specific privacy policy before they're able to actually click on sign up you can also add things like join the community terms checkbox and so on if i click on member fields here we've got more options for example we can add a recapture option allowing you to ask your users to confirm or authenticate whether they're actual real users or not. Followed by that, we've got addresses. So we can ask to ask for an address. You can even ask to add for multiple addresses. Enter their phone, their email, and so on. If you keep moving forward, you also have the option to add a signature so that they have to add their own signature in order to sign up. Back to basic fields, here we've got other options like the ability to put a URL, ability to subscribe, ability to enter their date of birth, for example, as date field, or you can even include add a radio button field. So for example, we can come over here and for the options, we can click on manage choices. I'm going to select delete and then he, I will simply say male, female, other. And if I click on save, now you've got an option of male, female, other. It also means that we can click on the settings and we can select, type in select your gender. Now, something here very important is that right now, we are not too sure exactly which one are required and which one are not. Meaning I can click sign up and it will not necessarily ask for all of these to be filled in. To make sure that they are filled in, you can click on settings. Sorry, you can click on edit field and then click or check on this field is required. So, and you can see as soon as I select that, a little asterisk appears showing the user that this is a required option. 
Same thing goes for any of them. I can click on that one or this one, click on settings, edit field, and you can see that this one's already required. You can even set a required limit so that the password can only be 30 characters or two characters or five characters, for example. This will now be live on your website and it will be your custom sign up form. If you go ahead and click on this icon and then click on member login form, we can also change this from the default form to the custom form. And I'm going to go ahead and click on add to site. And in your login form, you're only allowed at the moment to have your email and password. As you can see, if I click here and then click add elements, it wouldn't let us. But we still have the ability to move things around and change where they are. We can also change the background, just like we did in the other custom sign up form. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy this episode. I hope you found it beneficial and I hope that you'll be able to use it on your own website.